Okay, so, uh, let's explain the mega side up in Zora's domain. Uh, so, you usually lead ZL to get in here. In some bingos you don't have it, and in some MST or, I don't know, whatever routes, you might have extra choose to do it. So, um, to just save some time, because playing ZL here takes a lot of time. Because there's a cutscene that opens that uh, waterfall, so it actually takes a lot longer than um, just mega side hopping in. So doing that, you can do that by um, you like you need an angle for this, and there you go, that's the angle. So <laughs> just get in the water and climb up on the left side, and there you have the angle. And then just hold Z and don't release it, and then just walk over here. I'll make it really slowly because usually you pull the chew on halfway latest because you can do that. But yeah, it's easier to just do it in this corner. So you walk all the way in the corner, like walking against this wall and then just hold right until you are completely in the corner. And then there is a certain rhythm that um, I have to do it. And I'll just show this right now. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Drop, roll, side up. So, uh, what I just did is I was counting the flashes of the chew. In this rhythm, like, I don't know, there are people that have a really bad feeling for rhythms and shit, so they might not, able, might not be able to use this. But other people are having a really good sense for rhythms and music and shit so they might I don't even know if you need that at all but yeah it's it just seems to be easy like I just did it and um, like I always do it and I'm really consistent at it so in before I miss it by the way um, so uh, yeah I just count the flashes and I I will repeat it once again one two Three, four, five, six, seven. Drop, roll, side up. The most important part about this, by the way, is waiting after dropping the chew. That's the most important part about this trick. Because if you don't do that, you'll just roll into the right into the explosion. I don't know if this works. So, I'll just try to make it wrong. <laughs> like roll instantly like a little late maybe so one two three four five six seven draw oh fuck no. yeah well that would have been work that would have worked I'm just too used to it four five six seven no 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 it doesn't work you see that happens like you get a ground jump like you're not you're not really get a ground jump but you actually do one so that happens when you roll too early on this um, so it's really important to wait a short moment after rolling. Like the side upping, like when I when I use this rhythm, I always say roll side up. The side up is actually not necessary because you just mash side up and it works. So um, it's just a roll timing, like when to drop the chew and when do you roll, because the chew needs to be in the range so. The link actually gets hit by the explosion, uh, but um, it can't be too close because otherwise it will just kick you off the sledge. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a yeah, that happens. You fall off if you drop it too late. So just like remember dropping it shortly after seven and waiting like a couple frames. A couple frames. It's it's hard to say it like this. I know, and I actually, I actually hate it myself. But using this rhythm is the best way, in my opinion. So if you can do it, do it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Drop, roll, side up. Oh shit! I got a weird roll that usually never happens. Well, if you if you actually would look into this a little closer, I actually did like one of those weird rolls like this like really weird roll whatever that's why I got hit 
Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Drop, roll, side up. It's actually really easy if you just practice it a little. Practice dropping it where you actually say that you drop it, <laughs> and practice rolling where you actually say that you roll and then just mash side up or time the side up. It's it doesn't matter. It's not that precise. So um, usually, like you climb up here and then you pull the chew, like here. Latest one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Drop, roll, side up. See, that was much different than what I did before. I dropped the chew way earlier and it still worked. So it's a forgiving trick. The really important part about it is just that you um, release. Um, that you actually um, roll after, uh, like you wait a couple of frames after dropping the tree before you roll. So, but still, you should match the side up, I guess, since that works. So, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, drop, roll, side up. Yeah, well, actually, I myself mash it, to mash it too, so just go for the mash. Well, yeah, so if there are any further questions, just ask, put it in the comment, or send me a PM on Twitch, or YouTube, or I don't know. If there are any tutorials you'd like me to make, just do it. I can do a lot of tricks in this game, and if I don't know them, I'm actually happy if someone asks me to make a tutorial for them, because then I gotta look really close into them and learn them myself, and I wanna learn tricks, so... Yes! Uh, okay, chat, is there anything missing? Well, I guess not. So. Yeah, have fun with this trick. It's a nice time saver and a nice way to skip lullaby here. So, goodbye.